Hello everyone and welcome back to the Wolf Pack. I have so many packages today that I can literally hide behind them. Now hopefully, also quick premise, um, the audio is okay too. I'm testing a new group microphone that I'm gonna be using for play testing or playthroughs. Uh, some playthroughs coming up on the channel. So I'm trying to test some spatial audio. The true way to test is by having a real video. There's that. Now, let's begin unboxing some very, very exciting things today. Some I do know, like last time, and some I don't know. So it's always fun to have some actual surprises in here. We'll keep this one, which you do not want to miss for last. Save best for last. But let's start off with the biggest box here. Okay, I gotta shift this off to the side because my top-down camera's right here so you can see too. But the first one is Seize the Bean. I am so, so excited about this one. I talked to Jenna about this and she's the one who got this game on my radar to begin with. And then coincidentally too, Publisher and I are also in talks for hopefully making some content for this game too. It's really cool. So Seize the Bean is a coffee themed game. If you've been following the channel for some time now then you know how I feel about coffee. I've done a ton of videos all about coffee and I was looking everywhere for these little tidbits too. So if you look here, you'll see how they have some like little mini donuts, croissant upgrades, and coffee bean packs. There are also little tiny pastries. This is so freaking cool. See that mini mocha pot is so, you know what, I'm gonna take out, you know what, forget that. I'm gonna take out all the points. So that's a mocha pot. And then we also have these donuts. We have some string beans, that's interesting. We have some chocolate cakes, croissants. Honestly, like this game is just so aesthetically pleasing. I am dying. <laughs> little pink donuts, come on, check this out. Look at this. We have little mini pink donuts. I have never seen a pink donut as a component for a board game. If you ever seen the movie Major Pain, there's one scene where Major Pain eats like a pink cupcake. And even if in that scene, he was like, potentially somewhat poisoned by his kids like playing a prank on him. It was so, like the way he ate that pink cupcake always looked so freaking good. And I just love strawberries in general. So pink donut as a component, sign me up. We also have some chocolate cake, which always goes well with coffee. Here's the coffee cake component. We have even a dollop of whipped cream up top. The sides have different layers too. Yeah, this game's gonna be really fun. Okay, let's get into the rest of the box too. We also have the coffee bean bags in here. We have all of these promo cards, more bags. We have more bags, we have more meeples. This is the five to six player Seize the Bean expansion. And the one question I had is that so Seize the Bean also has like actual coffee beans as components, I think. And I wasn't sure if the coffee bag, here is the Connoisseur's Roast. I wasn't sure if this is real coffee or not, but this is real coffee. So I think they have like coffee beans as an actual component, which they do. Let me show you back the box. See, so they have actual real um, raw coffee beans being green and the real coffee beans, of course, being brown, black on top of actual coffee. So I am dying to try this out. And it smells so good. This is the Connoisseur's Roast. We also have the Hipster Java. I feel like this one also has like some floral notes. And I talk about coffee notes too during my coffee videos, but can I really taste the difference? Not really, but I, I aspire to at least. We also have the Geeks Blend. And lastly in this box of magical delicious goodness, Two things actually. We have the playmat. Check this out. Check this out. This is a really beautiful playmat. What I really love about this game is like, aside from the aesthetics, is like their color scheme really matches the coffee shop as intended, I'm sure. And actually, the one, there's one more piece is also first party tokens. There are two of them. So let me go ahead and rearrange this a lot nicer. Just like this. Okay, that's much better. Now, first off, thank you so much for sending me all of these beautiful components and the entire game pretty much. It's so, so freaking exciting. 
and I cannot wait to try the coffees. I can't wait to play this game overall. We can play with five or six players. We cannot wait to try out all these little deluxe components that really elevate the gaming experience. Now, don't you think the photos of this game in a coffee shop will look so good? I have so many ideas by just looking at these components, about how to like stage everything. It's so freaking exciting. Okay, that is the first package. I'm moving on to package number two. Okay, this one, I bought myself on Amazon. I only know I bought it myself because it's from Amazon. So, in this package, I actually just got recently, all because of another person I watched on YouTube. This game is Phantom Inc. Okay, so I saw Jamie's video all about this uh, party game that he made and it was really interesting because of the way the team dynamics work in this because from what I understand so far, there are two teams and on one team, like the clue givers, they're going to get a series of words and their goal is to have their team guess that word. And on the other side of the table, they're they only have questions on their cards. Like for instance, I think the one off the top of my head that I'm remembering is like chimney. So if chimney is one of the words that the clue givers are trying to give to their respective teams, and their teammates have a question like, where is this located? It goes back to the clue giver. They're going to give the other team members a series of letters one at a time. So they'll start writing like L and I and V going towards like living room because that's where the chimney is located. And you basically want your clue giver to stop and you want to be able to guess that clue based on that initial premise. So there's this back and forth between two teammates. I know it's a little confusing the way I'm explaining it. I'll explain a lot better once I actually cover this game. Uh, but yeah, as soon as I saw it, I knew that this is gonna be a party game that I think my friends would enjoy a lot. So I can't wait to dive into this one. Thanks, Jamie, for the tip on this party game. I think it's gonna be a big hit for uh, my family and friends. I also thought that the branding for this game is super cool because it says the word game of unfinished biz. And then you kind of see like the E fading away um, as it <laughs> doesn't finish business. So I thought that was a nice touch. Really cool game. I wish that back doesn't kickstart it, but here we are. Now this one, I honestly have no idea what this one is. So we will find out. Actually, was a little bit lost because my cousin gave it to me and said I had a package. And I was like, wait, I didn't order anything recently for this. But this game is... Oh, look at that! Picture perfect! Okay, now this is a surprise. I did briefly hear about this game. Um, thank you, Arcane Wonders, for sending this to me. But I don't think I have the base game, and these are two expansions for it. So we have the Pickpocket expansion and the Movie Star expansion as well. Now, unless the base game got lost somewhere in the mail too, they might have sent it to me, but I don't remember seeing or having Picture Perfect the base game at all. However, I do know that this game is all about filmmaking, which of course is a perfect fit for the channel. So Arcane Wonders, thank you so much for sending this over. Okay, we got three packages left. The final three were all purchased out of my own pocket. And they all are very, very cool. This next one is an insert for Marvel Champions, which I am gonna get to right after this video. I'm gonna talk all about my upgraded upgrades for the Marvel Champions components because I got the giant wooden box from this store over here and I also got dividers ready for them, but the thing is they don't fit nicely and they kind of like have weird, awkward gaps in them. So this is from Etsy. I'll leave a link down below in case you're interested in this insert too. But this insert is supposed to help organize all of that. Hopefully I don't need two of these on top of two of those giant wooden boxes to fit all of the stuff in there, like all the expansions leading up to the latest one. But I cannot wait to put this all together. And speaking of Marvel Champions, we have a box full of really delicious goodies here. I got Thor in the mail. I also got Ant-Man finally. I've mentioned this in past videos too, but Ant-Man is one of uh, Mick's favorites too from our Final Fantasy game, so I've been dying to try out this character. We also have classic Captain America. And also, with her brand new series on Disney Plus too, we have Miss Marvel as well. So these are the four new heroes that I got. On top of, of course, the expansion, the one expansion that I was missing, which was the Galaxy, the Galaxy's Most Wanted. Now I heard a lot of things about this expansion. I heard Ronin was like a monster to deal with. So I'm a, kind of scared, kind of hesitant to start trying out this box, but of course it's gonna be a ton of fun. Right now I'm still making my way through the Red Skull expansion because I got absolutely whooped and destroyed 
by Crossbones. We actually it was the first time I played this game in co-op, and we got murdered by um, Crossbones. So I'm already getting defeated there. I'm a little bit worried about trying to get to Ronin and let alone Thanos. So we'll see how that goes. Very, very excited about this and all the new heroes to try out. Now we have one final box for you today. And the reason why I say we is because I'm not the only one that got this. We have some really fun content planned behind this. And this is, this started off as a joke. You know, this seriously started off as a joke. And the people were messaging me, commenting back and forth. And you know, to be honest, I asked for it. And it's okay because I'm gonna do it. So here in this package, before I reveal to you the epicness uh, contained, I wanna let you know that this is one of the most incredible board games created uh, of all time. And it deserves its own cinematic, its own commercial. Honestly, it deserves like 10 commercials because of how much of an impact it's made on the world. This game. So I was totally joking around from that last Q&A session that we did, the vlog, you can check it out over here, about doing a cinematic all about Mousetrap. And well, here we are. Bought the game, it's happening. Okay, people, it is happening. I'm doing this for you. Mousetrap was one of my favorite board games growing up. I absolutely loved it. Did I know how to play it? No, but I just loved building up the little contraptions and seeing the marble like fly across. Like, how cool is this? Like, even as a kid, like, this was so cool to build this whole thing. Like, aside from Legos, it was the only constructing type game that I knew of, at least back in the day. And this one really got me into board games. I just love the physicality to it, the components and stuff. Seeing the marble go down the stairs and all the, the slide and stuff going up the bathtub and having a shoe freaking kick the marble, like all those things, super cool. We'll see how this is aged. Now I don't have the original, original mouse trap. I couldn't find it, but this was close enough. And I do remember seeing this like as a revision back in the day too. So it's not the original classic, but it's, it's close enough. So with that said, thanks for hanging out with me this weekend, opening some really fun games, all games that I cannot wait to dive into, especially Seeds of Being. And of course, filming this epic. <laughs> This epic cinematic that I don't know what I got myself into. <laughs> I'll see you all in the Honey Buzz review coming up next. I was debating whether or not to create like a bunch of different colored backdrops to match this playful color scheme, but I feel like it'd be even more dramatic and funnier and even more like on brand almost if everything was like super dramatic. Like we have the smoke, we have the black backdrop, we have the single point lighting, spotlight. Yeah, you know what? Forget the playful. We're gonna make this hella dramatic. Like, amplify it to a thousand. The level 1000 mousetrap cinematic.